Hey, Lupin here, and I wanted to go over the Learning Mode Poster add-on. So if you don't have it installed, go to Add-ons and Show Available Add-ons. When the list populates, you're going to find the Learning Mode Poster add-on and install it. Once it's installed, go to Add-ons and go to the Learning Mode Poster Beta and launch that. And we have three different sections here across the top, and inside of each tab there is um, various things and so we're going to start actually in the learning section so first we need to identify a platform that we want to train and then we're going to need a list of URLs from that platform so we just use Scrapebox you know scrape those up once we have that I'm just going to load in a list here um, and it's test URLs is what I called it and so you're going to click on a given URL for instance let me click here on one and it'll bring up this selected form to use this is a list of all the forms on the page so you can show the website or we can actually just show the form itself and then um, it's not the search form it's not unknown in this case uh, it happens to be this particular comment form and again we can do um, different things here just click on each one and basically look at it and so as you go through here you can see the actual website but I'm just going to show the form itself and so when we click inside of each box we then need to train it here in the next next section so basically we want to be able to see this so that we can see the actual form that we want to train so that in the next section it'll work so if you see like search form obviously that's not right so once we have that we're going to hit select and then now we're going to do click in each box and we're going to train it so this particular thing is name so that would be username click OK email pretty basic user email OK, home page is going to be user URL. And then um, you don't have to do a reply here. You can just leave that. Here is going to be the actual comments box. And then um, here is CAPTCHA. So this would be image capture result. And then there's other ones that you'll see come up here. For instance, there's text capture result if it's a text captcha. There's checked, so we could do check boxes or unchecked, that sort of thing. And then there's four user defined fields. So these are basically custom fields. If if um, you know it doesn't match username, user email, perhaps it's some other element that that form requires. Uh, and then combo box, which is uh, a drop down. And the way to use combo box is you would just select combo box and then. Um, in your actual definition file you can just put in anything that you want chosen and it'll choose that from the drop down list and so if it's a platform that is known like one of these then you want to select it because uh, the learning mode poster has special handling built in to work with those particular platforms otherwise um, this would be pretty well chained we can show learn form data and see it here and then we can actually save learn form data which I've already done and then URL modifier is basically if you need to modify a URL based on that particular platform so once that's done we've actually trained it um, we probably need some proxies now you can just test those in scrape box I'm just gonna copy them here and then we can just load them from the clipboard and we have some working proxies here and then we would go to the poster but under here you of course get save to file save to clipboard clear the proxy list you don't really test proxies in inside this window you're gonna test them in scrape box uh, and then you're gonna bring them into this window and so under poster we have some options but before we get into that let's look at setup here so we can tick off to use proxies or not probably a good idea uh, we can tick off to use manual capture image solving or we can use decapture services if we have that set up in this particular instance I don't have it set up but it's straightforward you set it up in Scrapebox and once it's set up in Scrapebox you come over here and you just tick it off and it works and then we can do timeouts and connections and change those I'm just gonna leave those as they are for the time being and so generally we want to load the definition file first because that sets the parameters here so we're gonna click this I'm going to load the definition file that we saved off from in the learning section and when we do that you can see it grays out some of these boxes because they're not trained in the learning mode uh, definition file so that's pretty handy so then we need to load in names so I'm just load up this stuff here uh, these are pretty basic whatever you would you know your URLs are going to be your websites and then comments and that sort of thing pretty basic and then this down here what it does is it saves a list so if I wanted to continually use these particular files, the names, emails, websites, and comments, then I can save that and then just go here. And rather than loading in each file individually, it'll load all of them in at once. 
So it's almost like a project file in Scrapebox, but it doesn't actually save the information like a project file does. Um, it just saves the paths to these files. So if you move the files, the actual, like if I move this names file, rename it or delete it, and then I load in this list, it'll have a path to a file that doesn't exist and it's not going to work. Um, so it doesn't actually save the data, just a path to the file. And then, of course, clear clears it all out. This selection here under randomly or sequentially, basically what happens is it's just using the user uh, website with the user name in random order or sequential order. So if I put a bunch of anchors I want in the username field and a bunch of websites I want in the website field and I choose random, it's going to apply any random anchor to any random URL. If I do sequential, I could put three anchors in and the first anchor might be blue widgets and the first website in the websites file might be bluewidgets.com. Second anchor down would be yellow widgets and second website down would be yellowwidgets.com and if I choose sequential it'll use those in appropriate order and line the anchor text up with the uh, actual URLs there. And then once we have that all done we need to load our list of URLs to um, try and comment to. So let's load those here. Test URLs that I have. And then once that's done, we have the option to capture post response or not. If you do, it'll only post up to 200 URLs. This is for training purposes. Up here, you can see processed. That's basic. But success, in order to generate that success, you have to basically post to a URL and then go in and edit it and tell the learning mode what to look for in order to qualify that as a success or not as a success. So let's go ahead and we'll do that capture post response and hit start posting and of course it tells us this is going to stop at 200 URLs I have manual capture solving enabled so it'll come up and basically for this video I'll just type out a couple here and let me pause this while I do that okay so I typed in the URLs and it finished posting you can see some various things here this completed response received means it received a response from the end website. And basically this is the response viewer so we're going to click on each one and what you want to do is you want to scroll down through it and look for some text on the page that shows that it was a response. So generally we're looking for something that comes back that says your comment was successfully added. So we would want to go highlight this and then hit save response. Now that'll choose that as anytime it sees this text on the response page, it'll assume that it's successful and it'll put it up here as successful. Now it says warning here, this comment needs approval before being displayed. If you're particularly only after auto approves, you might not want that page because it says it went to moderation. But you know, at the end of the day, you can use the link checker to find out. So it's usually a good idea just to stick it in there. Um, on the flip side of life, if you don't really care about the success percentage, and you're just going to you know, post and use a link checker and determine success that way, you can do that as well. But uh, this gives you a nice kind of overview. So if we click on a couple more here and go down through here, we can see that one doesn't really have anything on it that looks useful. And then continuing on down the line, same concept. Whenever you find your comment was successfully added, save response, that sort of thing. And when you're done, you can hit close. Now if I go ahead and post these again, for instance, just so we can see the response rate here. And I'm going to pause it again so I can type in some CAPTCHAs. And it's just finishing up here. This time I went ahead and unchecked capture post response. And you can see here some failed completed user URL found up here success 3, 30%. And again, we didn't go through all these URLs to check what the responses were on all of them. So you know, if, if you have 200 of them there, you can go through 200 of them, for instance, and probably get a good idea. I went through two. Uh, and trained it so this this percentage is subjective but anyways you get the point point. Um, and so that's how it works we can clear a URL list of course the posting options are down here and then we get loading options in here but basically uh, picked up a few links here from a new platform and also I wanted to mention that the learning mode poster is fully Unicode compatible so you can actually post Unicode comments uh, and UTF-8 comments uh, and that sort of thing and put those characters in your comments and the learning mode fully supports it and then you can of course use the uh, add-on to scrape the Unicode characters 
the Unicode add-on, but that's a different video, Unicode converter add-on. And then I also have an older video on the learning mode, uh, just kind of goes over a different platform from a different take, uh, and I'll put a link to that in the notes. Uh, some people might find that helpful as well. And that is how the learning mode poster works.